This is a video lesson on how to play I'll Be There by Jess Glynn. Really easy song to play. This is based on the acoustic version. Um, it's on Apple Music. I'm sure it's probably on Spotify as well. It's probably even on YouTube. Just type it in. Um, it's played on electric guitar, but I'm just going to do it on the acoustic guitar because it's a bit easier. Four chords in this song. Um, first chord, G. If, you, if you're wondering why I'm playing it like that, that's just the way I play it because it's easier to go from the C to the G. You just put, I'm putting my ring finger there and then um, that's it, that's all I'm doing really, literally just the ring finger and then that you don't play the A string and you, you don't play the, the bottom E string. Important to note though that the, the B string when you're playing the G, if you're playing it exactly like the uh, acoustic version should be open rather than playing it like rather than it making that note you want it to to sound like that so the pick and pattern for this song what you're doing there is thumb it's thumb index thumb middle and your index finger is going to be plucking the G string and your middle finger is going to be plucking the B string. So, thumb, index, thumb, middle. But you're doing it quite fast. So what you're doing is just going from the G. I play it like that. So if you imagine you play a G like that, but you really don't need to play that because that never gets played, and that never gets played. So you literally just put your ring finger on the G note. So this is the structure of the song, G in the verses, C. And then when we get to the pre-chorus slash chorus, we go to E minor, C and then G. E minor C G So the the bridge or the middle eight or whatever you want to call it is a little bit different. If you think of it as bar chords, so there's your C, there's your G, there's your E minor. You're literally just going up a step each time. So the way, you, so the bridge is, the pick and pattern's slightly different in the bridge. It's hard to hear what's happening, but it's just, it's basically the chords are C, D, E minor, D, and then back down to C. So if you think of it as back down, all the way down. If you listen to the song, you'll be able to pick up um, how long each chord is played for in the middle eight. You just go to a chorus again. And then the, the, the chorus just sort of, 
I think repeats and just fades out just constantly on a loop E minor to C to G really easy song just four chords for most of the song it's just three chords that's it really yeah it's just getting that picking pattern down I'll just go through that one more time with you 